All right, let's get to rolling here. Rolling on the hands, up and down the joints and the fingers and across the knuckles. And on the thumb pads, whoa! <laughs> This is a slippery one, this is a new ball. And over to the pads underneath the pinkies. Yeah, let's take it in one hand and squeeze. Two, three, four, five, and let go. And squeeze. Two, three, four, five, and let go. And one more time. Five, other hand. And let go, squeeze. And let go, and one more time. And let's bounce it. And again, try to trick yourself. Easy for me to do by catching it with one hand and then throwing it, catching it with this other hand and the same hand and grappling yourself as best you can. Three, two, one. And we've assessed, so let's drop the ball on the ground and step on it three times in the middle. Up to the knuckles. Rolling it across the knuckles. And down the bones. Let's put it at the top of the uh, heel and pivot on the toes. And press down just below the first knuckle. Roll down a little bit to the side of the top of the heel and press down and then over to the middle of the fifth metal plus. And then we'll scribble. Three, two, one, and reassess. Wall under the other foot, same thing. Knuckles. Rolling it. Sliding it down the bones. Pressing it right below the first metatarsal, side of the top of the heel. Very slippery. Over to the middle of the fifth metatarsal. And scoop. Three. Two, one, put the ball aside, reassess, athletic position, let's do 10 hops.
and start watching. Get that heart rate going right away today. And more jogging. With uh, 10 seconds left, oh, 10 seconds, 21 seconds left. Uh, yeah, 21. I'm going to go all out in a sprint. Do some side jacks. I'm going to do squats. We're going to do the Zach Bush routine this morning. A lot of squats in that. And be safe, be safe. Do, do what, uh, do, do what uh, you're capable of doing. Just keep doing what you're doing if you want. In five, four, three, two, one. And Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and twenty-one. Two deep breaths. Let's rub those hands together. Cultivating chi. Forming a chi ball. Shifting the weight. So a chi walk. Forward and backwards and sideways, wherever that ball wants to take us. And let's center. Two breaths. We'll twist at the waist and swing the arms. And center. And take a deep breath in and exhale out. Ocean wave breathing. Center to deep breaths. Fingers and thumb at the base of the spine, gathering in starlight. Lower down Tien. Heart. Throat. Third eye. And three times around the crown. Coming back down.
Centering on the way. And center. Deep breath. Centerlace the hands and bring them up over the head. Reaching up. Stay there or go back into an extension. And come back up and bend to one side and then the other center come back down pushing out at the chest and down a shrug And roll back. And forward. And extend the arms and rotate. And the other direction. One palm up, one palm down, flip flop. Take the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers and reach up. The hand behind the back, press down on the elbow. And then the other one. And then bring the first arm across the body at the throat and press on the elbow. And then the other. And rotate the neck in one direction. And then the other. Nod. And go ear to shoulder. Look over your shoulder. Look over the other shoulder. Take the hands and let's spread the legs and do a side squat stretch in the adductors.
other direction. Let's come together, cross one leg over the other, bend down and stretch that hamstring in the back. Up slowly, cross the other leg, stretch. Come back, spread your legs, bend over, hinged, go into a pike. Try to keep your heels on the ground or toward the ground and stretch the calves. Come on back up. And grab the pole. Pick up one leg and if you can grab it by your toes, great. If you can't, you know, again, you can use a scrap, a belt, some cloth to uh, hold. And if you need to hold on to uh, something more substantial than the pole, such as a counter. And then the other foot. And let's do the Dr. David Lee routine again. So that's put the stick behind the back. And as low down as you can go, whether it's up here or maybe down here, you can hold on uh, to the pole itself, or if you can get your hands around the end, that's good. And twist at the waist. You want you can start getting your legs involved. Don't have to. And bring it around front and just slide it back and forth. And then bring it to one side. And then the other. Want to bring it out front, you probably want to grip it uh, up on the pole itself again. And oops, some straps there. And uh, swim. And then swim the other way, backwards.
Bring it up to your chest. Bring your hands a little bit closer together and flop the wrists. Get the elbows involved. Come down. And then get the shoulders involved by going up and then down, up. And then we'll flip and put palms up. Again, flop the wrists. Go down, bicep curl. And this time go up. And down. We're going to put it back in the original position behind the head. And march, bringing your knee up as far as you feel safe doing. And then we'll do a hip extension, same side. Let's do five on each side. Three, four, five, one, two, three, four, and five. Bring the stick in front. And I will call out toes or heel uh, at very, and we'll stay on each at various lengths of time. So we're on toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, toes. Heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, side of the foot. Toes. Heels, toes, heels. Let's come down, hold on, and pick up one foot and just rotate it. Rotate that angle. Loosen it up and then rotate it the other way. And then flex and bring the toes up towards the shin. Flex away, back and forth. Other foot, rotate. Need to hold on to something besides the um, hold, do so. Go the other direction. Flex, down, flex. And let's put that down. Let's put the pole down. And get ready to do the Zach Bush four minute routine. So just to quickly review, we're gonna do uh, three sets of 10. We'll do squats. However you do squats, you can sit down and get up in the chair or uh, you could use a weight. Whatever you do with spots.
and hand raise, big circle. You can also do a circle through the midsection. Some people find that easier on the hands and then just the press. All right, we're gonna do three sets of 10. Starting with the squat right now. One, two, three. I'm up, hand raise. Big circle. Try to get those um, arms to line up with the ears. And press one. Good. One set. Deep breath. Fill that rib cage. Exhaling it all out and squat. Two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to go through the middle this time. One, two, And 10 and the press. And a nice deep breath. I'll go sideways and squat. Arm raise. Big circle. And the press. And ten. Yay. Couple of deep press. we we'll to do some heel to toe walking. So come forward, focus on something straight ahead of you. I want to keep your arms out. If you need to hold on to a pole or be next to a wall. If you can, do it backwards or just turn around.
you can progress it by coming forwards and looking left and right. Wobble's okay, but make sure you're safe. Hold on to a stick next to a wall. Or don't turn your head at all. And now make sure you got something you're holding on to. Just go heel the to toe. Don't move, but close your eyes. Make sure you've got something right there that you can grab onto. And then open, and then just switch the positions on the heel and toe. Same thing, closing the eyes. And open. Okay. Stay two deep breaths. And open our hearts. Pause and exhale, sending it out. Center with a couple of breaths. And bringing down heavenly chin. We go down, gather some up. And let it all rise and go about its business with an ah! ah! Namaste. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you, Nina. Today is a uh, Five Tibetans Day. I was afraid of that. Uh, you're going to turn it off. Hey, Suzanne. Next time. See you soon. All right. Good to see you, Beth. And um, if you're ready or if there's any questions or comments, be happy to entertain those. No. Nope. It was already going. So, again, you can twist at the waist and Blue uh, spinning if you want. One, two, we're going to do up to 11. Three, four. Two deep breaths.
We're going out to the floor to meet the camera. And the hands are by the side with the fingers facing forward or under the back to support the back. If you need back support, they can be under your neck too. If you want them there when you raise your head, neck and shoulders and your feet at the same time. That's the modified version. Unmodified, extend your legs and come up as you raise your head, neck and shoulders and bring them down at the same time. I'll be six and five. Starting now. Small in the core, two, three, relax those shoulders, four, Then. Okay, you know. And 11. Two deep breaths. Yeah, we'll get up on our knees. Hands behind us, on the thighs and glutes. You can lean back at the knees, keep your spine straight, or if you can do extensions, come back and then forward. One, two, Ten and eleven. Two nice centering breaths. Come back on the floor, seated. Soles of the feet are on the floor in the modified version. Hands up by the hips, fingers facing forward, or if you find it easier, you can turn them around, put them behind you. We're going to come up into a table. In the unmodified version, your legs are extended. That's one, two, three, four, And 11. Two deep breaths. We can get on all fours. Hands 
and go into an up dog on our knees in the modified version. Our modified version will start in a down dog and come up into an up dog. Not on your knees. Other six and five, starting with the modified. One, two, You down, turn around. Huh. Lost the video on my regular screen, but okay. Uh, cross your legs however you feel comfortable. Take a couple of breaths. And rotate from this position. Where you can bend as I will. And we'll do six in one direction, five in the other. And then switch the positions of the legs. Starting now. Okay, the leg that was in front goes in back, or if it was on top, it goes on the bottom. We'll do five in the original direction, six in the opposite way, pausing on the last round to stretch out in front of us and to the sides. Two. And I'm stretching out, arms out, two deep breaths. I'm going to go above my left knee and do the same. All right, me. And coming around. Uh, namaste. Is it just Can you come? Yes. I think you just uh, muted yourself. Thank you, Tom. Oh, you're, you're very welcome, Mira. Thank you. Oh, is that what you said? I'm sorry, I thought you had a question. No, I said thank you, Tom. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay, then I'll say thank you, too. <laughs> I'll add in. Thank you, thank you. Thank, thank you, you all. Bye-bye. See, see you tomorrow. Okay. All right.